Alright guys, I'm going to hop right into it. I'm going to talk about the whole thug gangster appeal shit for black women. And I'm going to dispel that stereotype by using a couple of examples. Now, when we think about an educated black man, what pops up in our fucking head? Carlton Banks. Right? Black women don't want to do like Carlton Banks. I mean, shit, I don't even want to kick it with a, a, a homie that acts like Carlton Banks because at the end of the day, how he acts, it's like he's putting on a show for his white environment. And it's like, at the end of the day, Carlton, you're still black. So I can see why a lot of women have that stereotype of what an educated brother looks like. Because, of, you know what I mean, once again, the images. There's not too many. And the only image that we have is <laughs> Carlton Banks. Um, and I know there's others, but, you know, everybody can identify, you know, with the Carlton Banks. But that's not accurate. That's a stereotype. Understand that. I want to use Makai Pfeiffer as an example in ER. I don't know if people watch ER. Um, and I simply watch that show just to see him because it's good seeing a brother who still knows that he's black working as a fucking doctor it's as simple as that if anybody watches the show he still has you know he has the clean cut uh... one level going down with the edge up he's low, like you feel like he's a straight nigga like what are you doing there but he's a doctor and he's one of the top doctors at the hospital and i feel like that's more of an accurate picture of what college educated brothers or professional brothers are it's not the Carlton Banks thing. I can see why you guys kind of gravitate towards thugs and gangsters or rougher type dudes. Because you're thinking what? They kind of like Carlton Banks and you don't want that. But it's not so. Even uh, Omar Epps and House. House, is, the show sucks. But I watched it a couple of times just to see a, a brother who still looks like that dude you're going to see on the street with the Timberlands on and the New York fitted working as a doctor. And that's what a lot of women don't realize. That that's just a fucking stereotype. You guys swear up and down that black women are the only ones that have negative stereotypes. But brothers get it too. Especially the educated brothers. I have to admit. There's a lot of Carlton type dudes out there. If you're one of those dudes. <clears throat> understand that you have to have a swag about you. First and foremost. Because when you're working in a white world. Honestly. They can spot. I'm going to put it to you this way. If you watch Fresh Prince, like, watch it closely, analyze it. Just don't watch it to laugh. Look how they treat Carlton, even the white friends when they're at school. He, they know that, oh, who is this guy? They know he's whack, even though he's black. Well, look at Will. When Will came, they went to the same school, but they treated Will as the coolest brother on earth. Because he still had that hood, I don't want to say hood, but he still had that, hey, I'm black. And I'm not afraid to kind of, you know what I mean, act appropriately, but act in a way that's just me. And guess what? All Carlton's friends loved Will, if you watch some of the early episodes, because of that. They knew, you know, Carlton was, oh, a softie. So it's one of those things where we can use where we're from to our advantage and show people, hey, you don't have to be scared of me, but at the same time, I'm not going to, you know, act like I'm not from this place. I'm not going to act like I don't listen to this music. But you can still respect me. Don't worry. I'm just as smart as you are. I ain't going to pull a gun out. You're not going to get in trouble by hanging out with me. I'm not going to put you in danger. And that's kind of what Will, that's the effect that Will Smith had. Um, so it's one of those things where both sides have to understand that in the workplace, we have to act a certain way. And when we're out of the workplace, we act a certain way. I mean, look at Fresh Prince. I mean, my bad. Look at Martin with Gina and Pam. They were both uh, professionals, right? At work, they had to act a certain way. But when they was kicking it with Tommy and Martin and Cole, they were another way. So when you watch these black shows, analyze it a little bit deeply. We just watch it on the surface level. We got, if they're black shows, we got to watch more closely. Because a lot of times, they have some shit that we can take and pull from it. But because we're, you know, we're so caught up in um, how long how light skinned the, the lead girl is or how dark or light the dude is we get caught up and we don't understand what we really need to be focused on it's there 
I mean, I look at a show like All of Us, uh, Lisa Ray and Dwayne Martin, their characters both went to college, if people don't know. They're both college educated. And uh, Dwayne uh, Martin, in the, um, his character on the show, by no means is corny. He still, he still knows how to be professional, but he still knows how to keep it real. And the same thing with Lisa Ray. So, um, at the end of the day, um, like I said, these are just my thoughts and feelings. I don't know if you guys feel differently, but, I mean, th these stereotypes kill us, especially when we don't know our history and we don't know our culture. So I encourage you guys to understand what double consciousness is and ask yourself how well do you play both sides because it's not that hard and a whole lot of shit becomes easier. Seriously. Um, but I have to admit, like I said in the beginning, you know, there is a little bit of a problem because too many women or liking the wrong type of dudes, especially in college. I'm not around every black woman in America. All I'm around is the women I come across in college. And I see that shit far too fucking often. Tattoos and all that shit don't give people six figures. Braids. Uh, 26s on a caprice, all that shit. That doesn't make six figures. You have to let that shit go. Honestly, you got to grow up and understand that you got to do both. It's called playing the white man's game. I'll probably do a video on that shit later. If you haven't heard of it, probably ask your parents. Your parents will probably be able to tell you. You got to know how to play the white man's game and understand that you can still keep it real with yourself and keep it real with other people as well. White people are waiting to be educated. That's one thing I learned. They don't want you to conform, actually. They want somebody who can, oh my God, they've been from the hood and keep it real. You can educate these folks. I'm not afraid of white people. I don't care if I have ten white friends. Because at the end of the day, I'm not conforming. And at the end of the day, I'm, doing more edu I'm educating them more than I am harming them. <laughs> I tell a lot of my friends, hey man, you're lucky I'm your friend. Because you can't use the word, the nigga word. You know what I mean? So loosely. They don't use it with me, but I let them know because a lot of them get too comfortable. And they respect me for someone who plays both sides. It's just as simple as that. So, I mean, holler at me. Tell me how you feel. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. Um, like I said, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, but I don't know. I feel like we got to give a different perspe uh, perspective and you know, fight through the stereotypes and not just embody them. So, alright, man. Thanks for your time.